Hello and welcome back to another video. If I seem tired, that's because I am, because it is currently half past 11 at my time, so... Yeah, but this video by Prowl was just uploaded. Now, this isn't an attack on Prowl or anything. I'm sure he gave, at least what he feels like, is a unbiased opinion on the Marketplace Pass. But it's a bit hard to be a bit unbiased when they are like giving you stuff for free, like games and that. It's like, sure, he said that, you know, Mo Yang didn't tell him to say anything or like can only be positive about it, but it wouldn't be exactly on head of if, of like Mo Yang, uh, like this, uh, not like embracing YouTubers that are more critical of them, such as IBX Toy Cat, so. Yeah, but I. We, I really don't think this is a uh, positive thing. So, uh, Marketplace Pass. If you've not heard of it, um, basically, you pay three ninety nine a month to basically get access to, he claims, 150 plus uh, Marketplace items. And it... Uh, um, uh, uh, this isn't publicly available as of now, so far I know. Um, but it's just let, let's just do a like quick bit of math here. So let's go to Minecraft, and I've got the marketplace up here. So these are the like the newest, um, you know, worlds that, and texture packs and everything that's been uploaded. So. If we just like take a look at some of these, so these are some like survival spawns. Uh, well, let's uh, let's uh, adventure, craft, texture packs, mashups, multiplayer, mini games, uh, worlds. Let's take a look at some worlds. That's that is five pounds. That's one sixty nine. 419. So obviously these are going to vary because some of these are not only just like worlds, but they come with like texture packs and add-ons with them. So some of them are going to be a bit more costly, where some of them are just feels like this one. 169. This is just like a parkour map. This doesn't have like any texture packs or anything. And I'm not... And this isn't a... Um, any commentary on like how the quality of these things and like this one this is just a build this doesn't have any like texture packs or anything to on it that's why it's cheaper like generally these range from like one pound to five pounds usually uh, with the like medium being like two pounds about and then let's go over to the skins. So skin packs here. They're, they're, skin packs are usually quite cheap. One pound sixty nine. One pound sixty nine. One sixty nine. One sixty nine. So yeah, they're all pretty much one pound. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, can just see from the mine coins here. What? What, 310 that's 169 so all these is like one pound 69 so uh, so for like so for the same price as a um, as one of those passes you could for that month you could just get a skin pack and one of these worlds or just get a, a world because it's like are you really gonna be like changing your skin every month or so like um I have this, hold on, I have this cell skin that I downloaded off the internet, now it, the skin I used before this was Purple Guy and I used that for a good few months before my computer like memory disk drive thing died and it had to be replaced and I had to re-download a bunch of stuff, but and now I'm Perfect Cell. And I've been using this for a few months now and this is like the uh, Banjo skin that I've used for years, like, do you really need a new skin every month? Um, now, when we get to the, uh, 
texture packs, these are genuinely more expensive for some reason. Like I've like five pounds for the eight bit texture pack. Like seriously. A big texture pack, five pounds I don't know why. Like seriously. Let's just like go back down here. Um not multiplayer, not mashups. Craft, adventure, rival. They've changed this up. Uh, yeah, so like this one, this is this is four nineteen, a little bit cheaper. You get an entire like texture pack and it's like it's all modern and all that. And you get an entire why? Why are those two the same things? I don't know. Um, four seasons. Yeah, oh, this is pretty much the same. Let's actually take a look at this. How does how would the seasons work? Because I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, 990, 890, 990. So yeah, texture packs are genuinely more expensive for some reason. Heritage texture pack. Oh, does this? No. I was like, can we do anything like this? Would like revert them to like oldish? But no, not. Like, I don't think so. I don't know. So unless you're like literally like changing the world you're playing on uh, or like the texture pack you're using every month to two months like you're not really get you gonna get your money's worth out of it because like I could easily like uh, maybe not the parkour world because well actually that seems like a very big parkour you could probably play that could probably like last you like half by half a month and then like and, th and this is assuming like all you're playing are these uh, worlds like you could do probably like 169 ring world you could probably spend a good few months in this alone because again I'm well, not getting that because um this is built these are all like built off Minecraft and you can like Minecraft is a game I can spend years and years and years and years and years and years in a single world and not get um not like one out of things to do like uh, again go back to, like talking about IBX Toycat he has spent like he's been playing on his on his one wheel at the, for like the bet since like the 360 days um and he's and he's also like played on other worlds as well for like challenges and stuff but like yeah and that, and in my opinion that's really what most Minecraft players do they have they either have one, in my opinion, there's two, they, there's two kinds of main Minecraft players. There's people who have one, there's players that have one world that they play, that they've had for years and years and years and years and years, that they spend most of their time on. And sometimes they have like other worlds, like a hardcore world or a super flat world or whatever, like challenge or like one chunk world or no jumping or whatever they have those side worlds that they do for challenges and it uh, um and it uh, you know maybe a marketplace world if they if you know they do marketplace stuff or modded world that uh thanks to uh add-ons i think add-ons is this one no wait no it's, bro it's a broken texture one isn't it yeah or maybe an add-on world and then the other kind of Minecraft player is the kind of Minecraft player that just creates a new world, plays in and like maybe gets up to the point where they kill the Ender Dragon or something, or maybe not even to that point. And then they start a new world and do it all over again. And like maybe you could like try and market this to those kind of people, but. I'm not really thinking that those kind of people are the kind of people that are just like, yeah, I'll spend money to play on the wheel that I'll play for a couple of days before getting bored and moving on to the next world. Because at that point you're not really like feeling like you're getting your money's worth out of it. Like maybe if you're that kind of person you might get you might feel a lot feel like you're getting your money's worth out of it, but in my opinion I just think like No, why why not just uh I don't know. Um, 
So, so yeah, like in my opinion, most people that like, do buy marketplace content, they're just gonna like buy, just come through here, just like see what's new. It's like, oh, Piglin Apocalypse. Let's take a look at this. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Yeah, buy that. Play that so for a few weeks, uh, maybe two or three weeks. Uh, get bored. Go back to my main world that I've been doing like survival in it for like years and years and years, and I have like base and a bunch of stuff set up, and I'll play on that for a while. Like, like most people aren't changing their texture packs every other month. Most people aren't changing um, their skins every month. Like. Like to make this worth it, if you're just like, if you're just doing like, again, if you're just doing skin packs, like, again, 310, 160, 310, 310, one, so yeah, like, just, like, this is 79p, like, you'd have to go through multiple of these texture packs, every, these skin packs every month to make it worth it, uh, as if you're not, like, touching any of the other content. And again, he never, like, specif specifically, he never really said, what like how many of each was on it? He's just like, oh, there's skins. There's what uh, I'm talking about. Um, what's his name again? Prowl here. He never really said, oh, there's X amount of skin packs. There's X amount of worlds you can play. There's X amount of texture packs you can download. Because, and I think the reason why he probably so oh, custom hat. They actually this one actually looks pretty good. Hearts. Huh, yeah. I don't know how good it actually look, is, but it looks cool. Anyway, um, sorry, I ADHD playing off. So, and I don't know if that's if he just okay. That's definitely not licensed. Again, I'm get, sorry. I'm getting. I am getting distracted. I am getting distracted. Stop getting uh, distracted. Um, so, God damn it, Mojang. Anyway, so back to the topic at hand. Um, so, and I think I, I think I really just slipped his mind to like be like talk about that, or it's the fact that there's more skin packs that are cheaper. Than thing and worlds are cheaper rather than the texture packs that will cost more money. Because otherwise, why would he not mention that? Um, because that seems like a really big selling point. It's like, oh, I don't really know what I'm getting with this. So what? What is that in my game? Is it? Just, but he was very vague about what uh, you would be getting with it. So it's like, oh, you get you get these things. Okay, how many? Then there's over 150 of them. It's like, okay, how many of each is it? It's like, uh, he just, just didn't acknowledge like that at all. Um, and at one point he made was like, oh, well, when you come on here, you uh, click on. Let's get back to this. You click on this and you get a short description and like some images and as noise like. Um, the best like indication on whether or not you will enjoy the world. And it's like, okay, so you want to and it's, and it, um, if you have the pass, then well, you just download it for free, and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're gonna enjoy it. It's like, but then that introduces a new problem. It's like, well, who at Mojang is going to manage? What you know? Who's gonna filter out all the good ones from the rubbish ones? Like they can't even bleeding keep IP infringing uh, skin packs off the ma off the mind store. Do you really trust Mojang to be the arbiter of like what like maps you're gonna enjoy? Because I honestly don't, uh, wouldn't trust them to do said thing. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really a uh, mind store hater. Like, 
when it was introduced, I was like, yeah, this is a good idea. I, 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 I defended it when it was released. I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. Like, creators get uh, um, get money for their work. That just seems logical to me. Like, you work your job. You expect to get paid. Like, making these skins and texture packs and worlds takes a lot of time. And it, uh, uh, if you're a bigger team, money. The this the making these is legitimately people's jobs. So, them being able to make money off that is ultimately better in the long run for the community. But the problem, and it also is a good way to do it for like console users to be able to utilize these. Uh, um, and it. Uh, uh, yeah, and I, and I just think, yeah, no, this is a bad idea. It just plain and simple is like, it, it's just, it's, I don't want to, I don't like assuming that people's motives, but it seems very greedy. They're just like, oh, we're not currently making, like, they, I, I think what they're hoping is that people will, like, get the pass. And then uh, drop out of Minecraft for a while and forget they have the pass, so that's just that subscription is just automatically renewing. So they get like a bit of, so they get like extra money. And it's like, oh, and you can say, like, oh, how many people would legitimately do that? Well, let's just say, um, you can't see this, but I've got a calculator off. Let's say 1,000. Let's go on a little bit here. 1,000 people, let's say 1,000 people buy this uh, um, pass. And let's say 1% of them uh, get it and don't forget to renew for at least for a couple of months or so. That's 10 people. That is still like, uh, and it's like $40 a month basically. So that's. Uh, so that's like four, yeah, that's four hundred dollars a a month just from those ten people. That's four hundred dollars a month that uh, Moj that Mojang just have coming in. Now, oh yeah, I, I forgot to say I, I was critical about the marketplace with with Microsoft not being um, transparent about how big of a cut they take. And they also like forbid like creator con creators on the marketplace to talk about that, which is really just like yeah no that that is super sketch anyway. Um, uh, and so that well that's not like I don't know money again that was on the low end like how many p like uh I, I can actually look look at there uh, let me Google this real quick. How many pe people bought Minecraft Bedrock? Uh, so 400 people have bought, uh, 400 million have people have bought Minecraft. Uh, I think that's just like, um, Including Java, which okay, so that so most people play on Bedrock, so uh, so four hundred thousand million, oh, thousand million, yeah. So let's say one percent of that four hundred million uh, by the pass and forget to renew their subscription for at least one month. That's 4,000 people. That's 4,000 people and $16,000. That is $16,000 if just 1% of ev everyone who bought Minecraft gets this and, forget and the dirt forgets to renew it for one month. That's that's, you know, if just 1% of people buy, who have bought Minecraft buys this period, that's $6,000. 
$16,000 for one month. So, yeah, I think it, it, I, it I, like I said, I don't know for certain, but it, just, it does look, from an outsider looking in, it does look like a very uh, breed-motivated move. And, yeah. I just don't think it's... What I just don't think it's worth the money. Like again, unless you're literally just like changing your where, unless you're like starting a new uh, marketplace world every month, or as well as like changing your texture pack every month, like it's not really worth it. Like with the, like it, if you like again, it's like four dollars a month, like. Two months, that's eight dollars. Two months, so you could have bought like anything I've shown you in this. Uh, like, with eight dollars, you could have bought like anything I've shown you in this video. And it, uh, you'd pro and you'd probably get, yeah, that much time. Like, how many of these were? How many of these worlds that you can uh, get uh, for less than that? How many of them do you think will last you? Under a month, and then also that's that's assuming that you're only playing Minecraft, you're not playing any other games, and you're only playing that world for that entire month. Like so much of this just adds up to the point where it's like, yeah, not really worth it if you do the maths. Like. It, if you look at it without really thinking, it's like, yeah, it seems like a good idea. Bunch of content, monthly subscription, yeah, that seems fine. But when you actually think about it, it's not. And I'd be willing to bet this is the reason why they have introduced it. Because I don't think too many people are going on here and buying... Uh, Piglin Apocalypse or Dragon Weapons or Hide and Seek City or Aquatic Expansion. Um, and uh, I think most of them are like, hey, not many people are buying a lot of things. But... So. Um. So it's like, I know, and this is like kind of their main money maker right now. That's not like merchandise, probably, because merchandise probably makes a ton of money. Um, oh yeah, best selling. Yeah, let's at least look at like, the best selling. Uh, Godzilla, 749. Uh... 3,201 ratings. Now, I think like most people don't rate the uh, one made. And it doesn't exactly tell you how many. Uh, you yeah, know, it doesn't really tell you how many people have bought it. But let's just. But yeah, free for, uh, can't really tell when this was uploaded either. Doesn't really add to tell, but still, yeah, 3,000 people. That's basically. Uh, let's do 750 times 3,000. 750 times 3,000 is $22,500. Or well, pounds. 20, 22k, basically. It's like, yeah, that is a chunk, that is a decent chunk of change, but bear in mind, um, that, and it's probably, it's probably going to be a good bit more than that, uh, because again, not everybody who buys it reviews it, but, um, well, yeah, that is, go, 
uh, a lot, again, like a lot, of, let, let's just, like, let's be really mean to Microsoft and say 50% of that uh, goes to the uh, game developer, which is probably more than 50%. This is just being mean, that's only 11,250 uh, pounds. And it, uh, that's got that's not got, and the bear in mind, it, nobody can merchandise. This is pretty much gotta pay for, you know, the upkeep of all the, and the, the maintenance of all, like, the servers, and the paychecks for all the uh, uh, Mojang employees, because they've, like, um, so it does seem like this is more of a, this doesn't really seem like a move that Mojang are doing for the, that, for, like, to give, Minecraft players a good deal. It seems like uh, something they're doing because uh, marketplace sales are slowing down and they're not getting as many marketplace sales. So it's like, oh, let's do this and then make more money. Is what I'm assuming because again, this is probably their main. The marketplace is probably the main thing that's making them money outside of those like mixed sales. Um, I don't know how much Minecraft makes in merch, but I'm, I'm willing to bet it is a lot of money. Um, well, there's also like there's also like a downside to merch is that you gotta pay for like shipping and the cost of manufacturing, um, and if something's faulty, you have to refund it and send out some, or maybe send out a new one. So it's just like. Um, Oh, and then you also got to be like sent out to shops and yeah, and shops take a cut of that as well. So uh, Microsoft definitely prefers my the marketplace probably prefers marketplace much more than uh, that. But yeah, um, and this that model is clearly based off Game Pass. But the thing is with Game Pass is like um. You get access to a bunch of games that, yes, you could go out and buy separately, but they are far more expensive than just buying uh, Game Pass because, uh, you know, they are like full price games and you get to, when you can get the games day, you know, day one on launch. And while this is a fair, this is, this is definitely the. Marketplace Pass is definitely cheaper. How much is Game Pass? Uh, yeah, ten ten dollars a month. Ten to eleven dollars a month, which say so yeah, is almost yeah, just a little bit double. Uh, is a little yeah, Game Pass is a little du over double the price, but again, you're not just getting maps and texture packs and skin packs with um, with Game Pass, you're getting entire games, which I which I think is far more valuable than a skin pack, which are really not gonna be using that many skins and worlds and stuff so yeah I just don't think this is a good idea anyway I beg it off now or is it gonna be uh, going around in a circle saying the same thing over and over again because I am tired and uh, my brain is slowly melting and my throat is getting quite dry so I'll see you guys Whatever I do, whatever I do next, I am actually planning on doing reviews of the marketplace mods uh, or add-ons. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys in whatever I decide to do next, and bye bye.